This video shows how to make a triple tuck buried eye splice on 10x rope. You'll need a measuring tape, a razor knife, a sharpie, electrical tape, and a fid. And I just use a half inch uh, PEX tubing. First step is to measure out 42 inches, actually 48 inches for three quarter inch rope. It's 42 inches for 5 eighths inch rope. That's going to be your mark A. Then you form the eye around a thimble if you have it, or just make the eye whatever shape, whatever size you want. Make a mark right across it. That's going to be mark B. Then from mark B, you measure another 16 inches for 3 quarter inch rope. Make a mark. That's going to be mark C. Then you make two equidistant marks in between B and C. That's where the tucks are going to go or that's where the rope is going to be inserted and pulled all the way through the rope for the tucks. Then from C, you measure another 48 inches and make a mark. That's going to be mark D, and that's going to be where the uh, fid will exit the rope when you do the final step. So that's 48 inches, just like from the bitter end to A. Next step is to make the taper on the bitter end. So you'll mark, you'll count three strands in from the end and mark both of the V pairs. Then mark the fifth one. and do that a total of five times. Since this is twin carrier rope, that's why I'm marking actually four strands. If this was 12 strand rope that only had one carrier, then you'd only be marking one, you'd be marking two per V, so this is four per V. So that is um, a total of five, and I'm just double checking to make sure that I've counted everything correctly. The next step is to cut the strands that you've marked. And I mark them all and cut them all before I actually pull them out for the taper. After they've all been cut, then I go back to the first one that I cut and pull out those uh, strands all the way down to the bitter end. After pulling out the strands, I found that it's important to put a bit of electrical tape around the rope at each spot where you take out the strands, just so that when you're pulling the rope through in for the tucks, it doesn't start to unravel.
where you'll end up with five bands of uh, electrical tape. One for each area that is where the taper begins or the taper uh, continues on. Once you finish taping everything, next step is to put it into the FID. Push it in there as far as you can. And then you're going to end up taping a couple inches of the taper that has not been inserted into the FID and tape that onto the FID. That you can use the fit as a needle to thread through for the tucks and for the ice blade, for the buried ice blaze. So first thing you're going to do is open up point B. Stick the fit through, making sure you're not in between any strands or even in between any of the twin carrier strands. Pull it all the way through, form the eye around the thimble, stretch the rope so that you can get A and B as close together as possible. And the fid comes back through a second time, and then a third time. Next comes the buried ice place. So you open up the rope until you have access to the core of the rope and then the fit is going to be inserted through the core all the way down to mark D where it will emerge from the core and then you'll bury the tail of the rope uh, through the sheath of the rope And you have to pull it out far enough that you can take all the tape off. You don't want to leave the tape inside the core. So those five bands of tape come off, as well as the fit, of course. And then you pull the tucks tight. And then as you pull the sheath down, 
the tapered end will disappear into the core.